Hey kids, welcome to Crossways Kid Venture Kids Online. I'm Lauren and this is Maya. Hi everybody! In case you're new at Kid Venture Kids Online, I should let you know that Kid Venture Kids is a great place for kids to learn about God, faith, and even life apps. What are life apps? Life apps are just our way of talking about what God can work out inside of you to change the world around you. Things like love, respect, and forgiveness. And don't forget that we do that with a lot of faith-filled fun to help you grow your faith in Jesus Christ. And don't forget, putting your faith into action kid style. Hey, you can even stand up, sing, and dance with the worship music. And now it's time to get started. Let's start with a drum roll on your knees, everybody. Three, Three two, one. Today I'm thankful for the hope that you gave me For the cross when you saved me You're the friend I call my own Now I know I'm not alone So thankful for your love on display And it will never go away You're the reason for my song Now I know we all belong You showed me what peace is all about It's my turn to go and live it out Jesus, you're the way without a doubt I'm gonna love you gave me for the cross when you saved me you're the friend i call my own now i know i'm not alone so thankful for your love on display and it will never go away you're the reason for my song now i know we all belong you showed me what peace is all about it's my turn to go and live it out jesus you're the way without a doubt
never gonna stop singing your praise, singing your praise. I can't stop, won't stop, never gonna stop singing your praise, singing your praise. I can't stop, won't stop, never gonna stop singing your praise, singing your praise. I can't stop, won't stop, never gonna stop singing your praise. Love will lead me through You 
Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey friends, I'm Caleb and this is, you know it, my Bible. Inside, we find 66 individual books. God inspired dozens of people over hundreds of years to write down the stories and wisdom inside of these pages. And together, they tell the epic story of how God made everything and loves us more than we can possibly imagine. When people chose their own way instead of God's way, the world was broken. God could have left us on our own, but instead, God created an incredible plan to bring us back into relationship. That's the source of true peace. And I've got five stories right in here to show us what it can look like. We're gonna get started in the book of Romans. Here, the Apostle Paul encourages the new believers in Rome, and he writes, If possible, live in peace with everyone. Do that as much as you can. You can't control what other people say and do, but you can do your part by choosing kindness over winning an argument. Time to head back to the Old Testament and the very first book of the Bible. In Genesis, we read how God chooses one man, Abram, and promises to bless the whole world through his family. Abram trusts God's promise so much that when it comes time to divide land with his nephew, Lot, Abram gives Lot first pick instead of picking a fight. <laughs> we move ahead to 1 Samuel for our next story. David and his men have been protecting a rich man's flock of sheep. But when David asks the man, Nabal, to share some food, Nabal goes ballistic. David marches up the mountain to have it out with him. But before the two men meet, Nabal's wife, Abigail, steps in with a sweet solution. We head now to the book of Matthew. Remember God's plan to make peace? The final stage is about to begin. Jesus has been healing and teaching people how to love God and love others. As the Passover feast nears, Jesus rides into Jerusalem in the most unexpected way, making it clear that he's the promised one to rescue God's people. We wrap up in the book of Luke. During Passover week, Jesus is unfairly arrested and given a mock trial by the religious leaders. Then, he's sentenced to die. At any moment, Jesus could stop this terrible thing, yet he chooses to give up his life, to die on a rough wooden cross. It's the darkest moment the world has ever known. But, spoiler alert, you can't keep down the light of the world. God chose to come to us, to make a way for us to live forever with God, even though we were the ones who turned away. That's what true peace looks like. And I can't wait to see how it shows up in you and me. Make peace whenever you can. Jesus is peace. Jesus is
Hey everybody, welcome to the Story Lab. This week we're talking about peace and the best way to give it a chance. I'm ready for a piece of this pie. Mm. Hey, I'm Carter. And I'm Zeke. We're talking about peace, which is proving you care more about each other than winning an argument. And you can also show you care about your friends by ordering pizza. Help yourself. What is this? Anchovies. They're great. You can't put fish on pizza. They've got a nice zing. Yeah in my intestines. Just pick them off. You can't get rid of the essence of fish all in the cheese. You're overreacting. And you are just plain wrong. Fine, let's have this out. Whoa, whoa. what are you suggesting? Let's do battle. Like, you and me? What? No, I'm not fighting you. Our bots are going to battle. You say that like we have bots. We will, after we build them. What? Build a bot! I love it! Let's make it! So, where do we start with our better battle bot build? Start by getting your grown up to help. Step one Make legs for your bot by hot gluing three markers on the inside of your cup. Try to get them somewhat level. And done. Snazzy. Step two. Next, attach a battery pack to your motor by wrapping the wires around these motor leads. Red to red and black to black. Our power up. Just keep on wrapping. And then once you wrap it tight, get a piece of electric tape and wrap it over the wires to close it off. And that's how you do it. Step three, glue the motor to the battery pack and then the battery pack to the top of the cup. They will each be slightly off center. Step four is the tricky part. You need to make the motor side heavier so your bot is off balance, which will cause it to move more. One way is to attach a clothespin to the motor. Are we ready? You're forgetting the most important part. Personality. Botanality. Are you ready? I'm ready. It's time for the bitter bot battle. Countdown, please. Three, two, one, go. Oh, they're shining, they're yeah, shining. Yeah, oh, they're shining. Yeah, they're dry. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's right there, it's yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, get him, get behind him, get behind him. Yes, yeah, yeah. oh, he's gonna knock him down. Oh, they're, yeah, oh, they're yeah. facing it. Okay, yeah, it's yeah, This is a very specific yeah, maneuver yeah, 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 he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's caught on the edge. Come on, free yourself. He's right there way. behind he's you. Come on, get your arm out. Get your arm out. Don't play, don't play, Tommy. Yes, yes, come on. Yes, no, no. Yes, he's on the edge. Ah. Tommy, come to him. Get out of there. Tommy. Oh, he's taunting. Listen to my voice, Tommy. Come this way, Tommy. Listen to me. Oh, look, yes. you're just come here. dancing in yes. front of him. Come on, get out of there. So, so, so on, show him that move. Show him that move. Show him that move. Think of your family. Whew. Well, my bot clearly won. Debatable. Speaking of which, what were we even fighting about? And speaking of fighting, it's time for... The Story Before the Story. Today, we're in the Book of Romans, a letter written by the Apostle Paul to the believers in Rome. When he was younger, Paul arrested Jesus' followers and put them in jail. But then Paul met Jesus, and everything changed. 
In time, Paul began to travel and teach about Jesus, starting new churches everywhere he went. Even though Paul hadn't been to Rome yet, he knew a strong group of believers had formed there. So, Paul wrote a letter to encourage the Romans and tell them he hoped to visit soon. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everyone, I'm Brian. The letter that Paul wrote to the Romans does an amazing job of sharing what it truly looks like to follow Jesus. Now, Paul hadn't even visited Rome yet, but he knew the church there included both Jewish and non-Jewish believers, and that there might be uh, some tension between the two groups. So, Paul wrote this. If possible, live in peace with everyone. Do that as much as you can. <sighs> okay, let's be real. For now, we live in a broken world. There's not a lot of peace anywhere. On the news, on the playground, maybe even in your own family. Stop! But before we can make peace, we have to know what it is. Now, lots of people think peace is anytime two people or groups are not actively fighting each other. Your father smelt of elderberries. Oh, whatever. We also use peace to mean just a moment of calm. And I bet you've heard your grown-up plead, can I get some peace and quiet, please? But true peace, the kind Paul wrote about, means a lot more than just no fighting. Real peace means choosing to listen to the person or people on the other side. It means showing you care more about someone than about winning an argument with them. And Paul said that we should live in peace with everyone. You know who that leaves out? Nobody. Your goal is to live in peace with your little sister, mm -hmm. with the kid in your class who thinks he's always right, uh, with the coach who kept you on the sidelines nearly the whole game. That's a tall order, I know. And Paul knew it because he added this. Live in peace as much as you can. Have you ever tried to make somebody else do what you want them to do? <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. You can't control what others do, but you can control you. When somebody says or does something that makes you angry, your first instinct is probably to fight back. They shove you, so you shove them. They call you a name, blah, blah, blah. So you call them a worse name, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but fighting back that way, it's like, it's like feeding a fire. Have you ever watched somebody build a bonfire? The fire starts with little sticks for kindling. And if you don't add more sticks, the fire will just die out, right? But if you do add more sticks, and more sticks, and more sticks, you end up with a giant wildfire. Pushing or yelling back is like adding more fuel to a fire. The situation quickly gets worse uh, until it gets out of control, and you both get hurt. But when you choose to control your words and actions, you show you have the true power of peace. The other person has nothing to fight back against. And eventually the fire has to die down. Now you should never let anybody bully you, but you can choose to tell someone in charge rather than trying to take on that bully yourself. You can also make peace by taking action. If you've had a fight or a friend or family member is not paying attention to you, go to them. Ask what's wrong and, th and then really listen. Is everything okay? Yeah, no, I don't know. You don't have to agree with them, but you can still make a way to restore the relationship. Now, not everybody will listen when you try to make peace. Some people will just stay mad, but you can still have peace inside as long as you've done everything that you can. Let's take one last look at our verse. If possible, live in peace with everyone. Do that as much as you can. After all, peace is not our idea, but God's. It's a gift that comes when we walk in step with Jesus and listen to God's spirit. The end. So, yeah, when I argue, it kind of goes forest fire. It's way too easy to just say the first thing that pops into my head. Yeah, choosing not to fight back is tough. For reals. So, what's our part in the story? Well, peace is never easy. 
but it's much harder without Jesus. When you choose to follow Jesus, you can have peace with God, no matter who you are or what you've done. God sends the Holy Spirit to live within you, and God's Spirit helps good things to take root in your heart. Things like peace. Exactly. But making peace is still hard. Peace is a choice you have to make each day. Like if your uh, little sister is sure it's her turn to pick the movie when you know it's yours. It's no big deal. Stop before it turns into a shouting match. Let her choose. Or ask your mom to decide. Or if one of your friends is making you mad, don't react right away. Take a deep breath. Then choose to really listen before you do any talking. I think you got it. Peace. See you next time. So, here's the thing. Make peace whenever you can. You know what? I don't think we should call these battle bots. Oh, I think we should call them brew bots. That's terrible. Or maybe awesome. Thanks for joining us in the Story Lab. See you next time. See you next time. Ready for a rematch? Yeah. I think we deserve it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Okay. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. Battle! Come on. Oh. Ah, I wait, I mean it. No, no, okay, fine, that's fine. Come on, get him. Come on, Frederick Stein, you got this. Get right behind him, you're so close. Right now, now they're just hugging. Get, get, get him, Tuppy. Romans 12, 18. If possible, live in peace with everyone. Do that as much as you can. It's alive! It's alive! Oh, this is delicious! Welcome to, to the, the So and So Show. You're probably wondering what in the world are all these cables for? And you'd have every right to wonder that. <laughs> well, we are wired, hooked up, and connected to our own power grid. After looking at last month's power bill, John decided to take the studio offline. Oh, you bet I did. Brandon and I are plenty capable of making enough of our own energy to run the show. So. Check, 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 check
Is that working now? I, yes, okay. I believe that we are up and running. Our sound is back on. Yeah, sorry about that. Like we were saying earlier, the entire show will now be run on kinetic energy. So every now and then we'll just have to rev it back up. Ah! Okay, that should last us for the rest of the show. I hope so. Yeah. If it doesn't, I might have to brush up on my mime skills. Uh. Now what's wrong? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, it's the camera's batteries. All right, I just need to do a little quick recharge here, ready? You know, I was right in the middle of being trapped in a box. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, it was, it was really good and, and uh, wow, look at you, you got up. That's not the point. The point is this power thing is, is, is messing up the show. You're right, you're right. It's terrible timing, but we should be good now. You can finish your performance thing. No, I'll just, I'm done, okay? No more miming. Oh. We're good now. <laughs> Shouldn't be any more problems. No more problems, huh? Well, I guess we don't need lights. Oh, oh, is that what you think? No, we need no, lights. that's not what I think, it's what I, I don't see. You know, I, you know I, I thought you might be a little more under, oh, uh, a little more understanding when it comes to saving money. I like saving money, but when you can't hear the show, yeah. and you can't see the show, guess what? What? There's no show. <sighs> okay, okay, hold on. Uh, okay, my, all right, here we go. Ready? One, um, two, three. You know, I thought you were fine with this whole kinetic energy thing. I was, but how are we supposed to do a show when we keep having to stop and charge everything? Oh, we? I haven't seen you helping. What do you think I'm doing right now? I don't know, I can't see I'm you. I'm pedaling. Well, good for you. And you know what? What? It's Bible story time with Kelly. Fine, fine. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. Ooh, I'm sensing a little tension. I don't know what would give you that idea. Me either. Mm, just a hunch. Well, today's Bible story may be something you'll find interesting and hopefully helpful. Sure. Why not? Great. Oh, um, does that bike power my lights as well? Does it, John? Just keep pedaling. Perfect. Perfect. Today's Bible story is actually just one verse from the book of Romans, which was a letter written by the Apostle Paul to the church in Rome. The letter was intended to provide direction, encouragement, and guidance to the community of believers. And I think Paul was trying to do all three of those things when he wrote this. If possible, live in peace with everyone. Do that as much as you can. Live in peace with everyone? Whoa! Easy for Paul to say. But then again, Paul had been thrown into jail multiple times for just talking about Jesus. And he was writing to people who could have been killed just for following Jesus. They were definitely living in a time that was not peaceful. So Paul wrote this letter to them. Even though people may be persecuting you, Try as much as you can to live peacefully with them. Maybe that looks something like, Do you like my new nails? I just did them. Um, they're pink. Precociously pink. It's a new color. Do you like it, Ralph? Looks purple to me. Hey, isn't that your little brother? Oh, yeah. Give it to me. No! I want to turn! When I'm done! I want it now! Get off me! I'm still riding it! You're not going to ride it anywhere! I would do something, but... My nails. I got it. Get off me. I'm out of here. Oh, no, you're not. Ralph! Hank, Sally, you guys can't fight your best friends. Now tell me what happened. Sally started it. Hank won't share. She's not waiting her turn. He's a tricycle hog. You both have to share. Look, there's a way you can both have a turn at the same time. Right, right, Sally. You pedal, and, and Hank, you ride on the back. And, and when you get to the end of the road, you switch. Sounds good to me. Okay. 
Well, I guess this isn't too bad. It's like I'm on a chariot. Hey, good job, Peacemaker Ralph. You'll be president someday. Well, I'd rather be a YouTube star. Hey, what's that? Can we come back to talking about my nails? I want to ride on the chariot now. Okay, it's pretty fun. Hang on, let me turn around. Ah. Hi ho, Silver. Away! Ralph was a good peacemaker. He saw two friends in trouble and he helped them work it out. And because he stepped in, Sally and Hank realized how much fun they have together. Peace really is a powerful thing. Okay, let's do one more. Sometimes when you're trying to work through conflict, you need to look at it from a different angle. And that's what these people did. Welcome to Dance Battle, where enemies dance out their differences. First up, the powerful Pexter. I'm powerful Pexter, and I'm here to say my dance moves will make you pay. I may not be the biggest or the best, but my unstoppable flow is better than the rest. Watch me! The powerful Pexter thinks he's got the gravy, but I wash him away. Just like the wavy, I'm Mr. Wave. and my moves are like title, I'll wipe you out. Just like a recital. I'm Glidemaster. I spin. Sometimes when people have a conflict, whoop, they dance out their problems. Maybe not often, and maybe we all can't do that, but we can look for things that we have in common and start from there. Remember, Paul wrote, if possible, live in peace with everyone. Do that as much as you can. Wow. I never knew making peace with someone could be so fun. That's what's so incredible about peace. There are so many ways we can show each other we care. You see, peace helps you stay connected, which is way more important than winning an argument. Hey, thanks. I, I think we needed that encouragement, or, or at least I did. No, me too. And uh, I'm sorry I made you do all these things just so I could save a few dollars. No, I'm sorry. I, I should have been more understanding. Hmm. Peace. Peace. Well, I think my job is done here. Hey, thanks for helping us stay connected. You bet. And thank you for keeping me connected to power. No problem. Until next time, see ya. Hey, by the way, how much money are we saving by doing this? Oh, a lot. Oh, good. Six dollars. Uh, uh. Reveal the question. <laughs> Oh, uh, why is it important to make peace? Yeah, because when you don't have peace, you're just not happy. Yeah, and you can miss out on things that are really important, like friendship. Yeah, in a good tricycle ride. <laughs> True. <laughs> hey, talk about it together. Why is it important to make peace? And we'll see you next time for a brand new show. Are you still pedaling? No. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> mm, I don't like this. I don't like this. No! Oh. 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 <laughs> You're not supposed to speak. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? Hey, what's the big idea? Make peace whenever you can. Jesus is peace.